So this is sort of a re-upload of my previous video. I wanted to remake it because there were some issues with the original. First I had uh, accidentally merged the audio track so I was unable to adjust audio levels. And because of that it was basically impossible to hear me in the second half of the video. The second issue was that I had undervolted my 5700 XT. So the performance in game was worse than it should have been on my 5700 XT. Uh, so here we are. This video is about setting environment variables to get games that require hardware ray tracing to launch and play on graphics cards that do not have that hardware. Unfortunately, this is a Linux only fix. I am unaware of any way you could do something similar to this in Windows. But with that out of the way, uh, let's get into the video. So I originally made this video because the PC requirements for Doom the Dark Ages had come out. And at minimum they require an NVIDIA or AMD hardware ray tracing capable GPU with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. They list a 2060 Super. I assume a 2060 would also run the game just fine, uh, as well as an RX 6600 or better. Now, if you have followed the Indiana Jones game at all, this PC requirements slide would look very similar. Uh, and that's because they are just about the same thing. The Indiana Jones and the Great Circle game also requires a ray tracing require uh, a ray tracing graphics card in order to play. Now, again, in this video, we are going to get around this by using an environment variable uh, present in the Mesa Vulcan drivers uh, to get the game to launch and play. I assume this will work just fine with Doom in particular, because they will be running the exact same id tech engine with the Vulkan API. So first, if you have tried playing it at all, and I am launching this game through Lutris, uh, and you went to go hit play, you would be greeted with this error, English missing Vulkan device extensions, please update your graphics driver or GPU, and it lists the device extensions for the ray tracing pipeline, the acceleration, and more ray tracing queries. And it would fail to launch. Now this is actually a very simple fix, and you can do, so, uh, do it with these environment variables. From my understanding, this should work on any non-ray tracing AMD graphics cards, and I also believe it will work on NVIDIA graphics cards, as long as you are not using the proprietary driver and you are using the Mesa Vulkan drivers. The, well, the open source drivers, anyway. So we are going to just simply go to configure. In Steam, you would right-click the game, go to Properties, and set Launch Options. And this is the this is how you would write it into Steam. But we, since we are using Lutris, we're going to go over System Options, down to Environment Variables. We're going to add a new variable, and we're going to add the Rad V Perf Test. That's literally just Radeon Vulcan perf test, paste, and we're going to set a value to RT, comma, no spaces, emulate, underscore RT. RT is just going to enable ray tracing, and the emulate RT is going to go, is going to enable the Vulcan fallback to software ray tracing. So it's essentially going to translate the hardware ray tracing to software ray tracing. And we are going to save. And then when you hit play, the game should launch. Well, the game should have launched. Oh, 
That's why. That's funny. That's actually hilarious. So it should be written just like this. Rad V underscore perf test set to a value of RT emulate RT. Again, if you were in Steam, you just right click the game, go to properties, and write this right into your launch commands. Now we're going to hit save hit play and the game will launch without any issues uh, the first time again I made this video you could not hear me at this point so hopefully you will be able to hear me just fine they do like their loud noises and, and unskippable splash screens. Okay, so I will actually adjust audio further. We're gonna just, because you don't need to hear the game really. There we go. Now, I had played with settings previous and I'd found that on my 5700 XT, uh, the best settings for it were medium settings with a static 66% resolution scaling. Now this is basically the equivalent to FSR quality. Unfortunately, this game does not support any upscaling besides DLSS, which is unavailable to any card that can't ray trace, and also unavailable to any game that is, or any graphics card that is not an NVIDIA graphics card. But at medium settings 66% resolution scale, the game runs at a near 60 FPS consistently. The frame time graph is a little bit spiky, but from my play, I have not felt anything that would that would indicate that this game is not running smoothly. It still looks good to my eyes. It, it is a bit softer in image. Um, let's see what happens if we bring it back up to 100% resolution scale. What kind of frame rate we would get. We're going to be dropping into the high 40s. It does look a lot sharper. I can spot a lot of detail that was not present. But uh, I would I honestly, it's up to you whether you want that consistent 60, if you're okay with dropping a little bit below that. Uh, we can try running it at low. I will have to restart the game, so I will get back to you when that happens. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we loaded back up. We are running low settings with a 100% resolution scale. And we are not getting much better performance than at medium settings. Um, low still looks very good, to be honest. But there's little to no performance difference. You might as well just play at medium settings. Uh, let's see what happens if we go up to high settings. Again, I will have to restart. So 
So I'll get back to you when that happens. Okay, we're back once more. Uh, we're now at 1080p, 100% resolution scale, high settings. And we are getting a little bit above 30 frames per second, about touching 40 at times. Uh, certainly a console-like experience, I would say. Not how I would choose to play it myself. Uh, you, you certainly can feel that difference in frame rate. Um, let's try playing with resolution scale again. Perhaps 80%. Now jumping up into the 40s. It has maintained a lot of the detail that was not present at 66%. I believe uh, let's try medium settings at 80% resolution scale. We all we are also. Um, I mean, we just loaded in. I'm already in. We're already using 7.3 gigabytes of our VRAM. We. I have a feeling that the more we would play, that VRAM pool would fill up and start spilling over to RAM. So you're probably better off not trying to play it high. Um. Let's drop it back, back down to medium and restart. And again, I will get back to you. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we are running at 1080p, medium settings, with a static resolution scale of 80%. And we are getting lower 50s the game still looks quite good now, after looking at it a bit closer it does look a bit softer than 100% resolution scale but not so much that it would bother me dropping into the 40s in the shadows All that glorious ray tracing. But this is a very playable experience. Again, it is a shame that there's nothing, nothing that I know of that you could do in Windows. But as a solution in Linux, this is more than playable. And I have a very strong feeling that this same fix will work for Doom the Dark Ages. Now there is, you do have the ability to run the game using FSR 1, Temporal Upscaling, um, with another environment variable that's just wine full screen, wine full screen command. We appear to be staying stable around that high 40s, low 50s, which in this type of game I would say is more than playable. So let's let's back out and let's try enabling that FSR one and see if that performs well looks any better. 
So we're going to go back into our configuration, system options, and we're going to add a new environment var variable. And we're going to add the wine full screen FSR and make it a value equal to 1. Save. I will leave the environment variables written down in the description. Now, with FSR enabled, it will take a little bit of performance, but not a whole lot. I, honestly, uh, looking at this image, it seems to be, especially the distant objects, are more blurry than without FSR running. Uh, it seems you're losing quite a bit of detail at distance, but it does do a good job of temporally upscaling even near objects. Kind of does fall apart in motion. Um, honestly, it's a it's a give and take. But either way, that is how you can get the game running on a graphics card without any hardware ray tracing. And uh, unfortunately, again, this only works in Linux. If you would like for me to make a tutorial on how to install a Linux operating system, I would most likely use Nobara, which is a distro based off of Fedora um, for that tutorial but if you would like for me to make that video uh, let me know down in the comments um, also any other questions or concerns <laughs> uh, you may have and that's all for today bye bye